And welcome back, everyone. Time now is 9.30. We're going to get you caught up on the headlines in just a moment. But Javier, you know, a, a lot of people talking this morning about Governor Napolitano. She's expected to be nominated by President-elect Obama to head the Department of Homeland Security. But thus far, she's not confirming anything. And, and you know what? The chances are she will not. She's part of the transition team. Uh, and she won't talk until they talk or make an announcement they give from a Washington, D.C. That's for sure. Now, I cornered her on Friday and tried to ask her a couple of questions and several media uh, folks also threw some curveball questions at her trying to get her to talk about it well she was pretty elusive had some fun with us and basically said she wasn't going to talk about it Friday and I doubt she'll say anything until an official announcement uh, comes down from uh, the the transition team uh, which she is part of we're expecting that possibly this week we want to uh, read you guys a few of the comments we're getting into the newsroom people are uh, sending us messages on Twitter and on Facebook you can get to us by going to that link azfamily.com slash Carrie Pena uh, David Galindo writes in, Napolitano qualified, could do a great job, especially with border security. Worried, though, Arizona may suffer under a new governor. Patrick Gamble writes to me on Twitter, I'm very upset she needs to stay here and fight the Republican House and Senate. We need that balance. So I'm just getting a ton of messages, Javier, about Governor Napolitano. And anyone who wants to join us in this conversation, just go to azfamily.com slash Carrie Pena. And now a look at what else is making news this morning with Javier. Now, a quick note, if she were to leave, there'd actually be a lock by the GOP in all three branches of government. Now, let's talk some news.